Welcome to video 31 on flight sim navigation. We are working on our radio and autopilot project and in this video we are going to have a look how we can tune the course or OBS knobs in the Mobi flight software. Uh, the OBS is in the old fashioned planes with the steam gouges they have uh, course deviation indicators and with the OBS knob, the Omni bearing selector knob, we can rotate this scale until we find the uh, VOR that our radio has been tuned in. Uh, but also on an autopilot we have a course knob with which we can tune the bearing to a VOR that we want to intercept or on a Garmin glass cockpit we also have a course knob with which we can rotate this uh, scale for the uh, localizer the VOR we have tuned in with these radios over here so all of those are going to be uh, tuned with the same course knob encoder and hardware encoder with a push button such that we can select between OBS1 and OBS2. Mm, well, let's have a look how we can do this in Mobi Flight. As always, the first thing that needs to be done is to create the knob and push button in the hardware, and we do that in this extra menu settings then go to the top mobi flight modules and click our module that we have i have only one and there we see all the hardware that is connected and well i have already set it up but uh, what i did is create an encoder uh, that is done with this add device uh, button over here create an encoder called encoder course you can give it any name that you like it's just that they are distinguishable and in my case it was connected to pins 4 and 5 or 5 and 4 uh, you can uh, turn these pins around if the direction of travel is not uh, to your liking and then we uh, as always have these five different encoder types and the encoder that I have over here works best with this uh, one detent uh, mode uh, and okay this is the name I gave it so that is then created and then uh, we do another device the encoder course switch or push button um, and well that obviously has only one pin number and we give it a name such that it is distinguishable this is done then we press this upload button because this new firmware has to be uploaded to the arduino and it is always a good thing to also save the software by pressing the save icon over here once this is done then we are going to uh, create some software what do we want to happen when we, we rotate this knob for that we go to the input tab and there we create uh, a double click on the bottom row you can double click to create a new uh, event so to speak and well we have this encoder course uh, for OBS 1 or for OBS 2 I already created them so let's have a look what is inside and on the input tab we find that uh, I first selected the module that it is connected to and then the device that is operating this function which is the encoder course that we just created uh, and then the uh, important part is when we rotate left what do we want to happen well we select here the event ID and then from this very long list uh, yeah I selected the uh, OBS uh, what is it OBS decrement for one yeah we have two of those so VOR1 
OBE it is called decrement and of course for rotating right it is the increment that I selected. Don't forget to press the use button only then these fields are filled and then you are ok. So well this is already done and then of course I did exactly the same for the OBS number 2 and the only difference is here, uh, it's the same encoder, but the only difference here is that I now selected VOR2. Uh, this should do it, but now of course we have this uh, task, how do we switch between am I controlling uh, OBS1 or OBS2? Well, that we want to do with that push button. To be able to switch between OBS 1 and 2, the push button first needs to have its input and for that again in the input tab we uh, add with double clicking on the bottom row, I already did that, we add uh, an input and I gave it this name encoder switch course VOR 1 or 2. And behind it I wrote an address, that is the address that we are going to store a value 0 or 1 in to make the distinction. So let's see what we have created here inside this input. Uh, uh, of course uh, we selected the board and then we select the encoder course switch which we created in the, in the hardware already. And now as uh, action in the list we select the FSUIPC offset and we are going to type in an address, in this case I used address 66C2. All addresses of 66C0 until CCFF are available. We already used C0 and C1 so now we are going to use C2. Uh, what are we going to store as a value in that memory location? Well, if the current value is 0, then we make it 1, else we make it 0 again. So this means every time I push that encoder switch, the value changes from 0 to 1 and then back to 0 again. This is OK. But now we have this input that uh, fills this memory location with 0 or 1, and now we have to be able to read it out, and for that we create an output. Uh, here it is, this is the output I created, the memory toggle for OBS scores 1 or 2. Uh, what uh, is inside? Well, it is just the offset, uh, yeah, that's, that's the name offset, it's a memory location 66C2. That's all we need to do, we are reading out this memory location, that's all. And uh, now we can use this output, again we go back to the inputs, we can use this output in the, uh, where is my encoder course, uh, yeah here it is, we are going to use this output in the precondition, and that's what I did over here. Uh, we first select in this drop-down a config item and then in this drop-down we select this uh, output that we just created, the memory toggle OBS course 1, 2, yeah it's just a name, you can give it any name you like. Uh, and then if that value that we stored in that memory CC, uh, uh, 66C2, if that value is 0 then we use this VOR1. Uh, and uh, obviously in the other one, in the OBS course number 2, there we have a precondition also, looking at that same memory location, but now we only tune this one if this value is 1. And this is, uh, don't forget to press apply after you created it, uh, if you don't apply it, it doesn't work. It has to be set over here exactly what it is checking. And if all of this is done, uh, yeah, well, now we have done what we wanted to do. We created an encoder that can change a, an OBS or course value, and the push button switches between OBS 1 or OBS 2. Let's have a look how this looks in practice. 
We are in the cockpit of a Cessna right now and we are flying somewhere over here and we try to reach Rotterdam airport and that has a VOR with the frequency 110.4. So I already tuned that here in the NAV1 radio and also in the NAV2 radio which you would normally probably not do. But for this demonstration, we are now going to have a look if we can use uh, this course knob to rotate the OBS of VOR1. And uh, well, we can see that it is uh, working. Uh, am I going in the right uh, direction? No, probably not, because I actually have to go to the left. Yeah, we can now see that uh, we are reaching the, the right point, the bearing that we need. Uh, to go to this VOR, which is now over here. If we fly that bearing, we are okay. Um, well, that is. Uh, oh, my view is going away. Uh, VOR1, but if I press this button, then this VOR2 should be rotating. And yes, we can see clearly that it is. And also here I can find the correct bearing. So this is working. Uh, let's have a look at a glass cockpit. Here we are again, this time in a Cessna 182 with a Garmin 1000 cockpit uh, or panel and we have the course knob over here. I tuned the radio already at 110.4 so it should be active and I can now use this encoder over here uh, to rotate the screen yeah, or the, the VOR1. Uh, yeah, well we see that it is rotating here on the screen and at the same time here on this nice uh, panel too. So I can exactly find the correct bearing to that VOR. Uh, let's now have a look at a Boeing for a autopilot. Here we are again in a Boeing with an autopilot that has a course knob over here to select a bearing to the VOR for the autopilot to catch. Uh, and also this same course encoder over here, we can clearly see that it is rotating this uh, course over here. Well, I don't know why this button does not rotate with it. If I rotate this button with my mouse, then we can clearly see over here that uh, the numbers are identical. But if I rotate it over here, that button does not seem to be moving. Well, that is maybe a small issue uh, but I cannot help that. Anyhow this course encoder over here including its push button is uh, working fine for selecting the course after we configured it in MobiFlight. Thank you for watching in the next video we'll have a look at uh, well probably uh, most of these push buttons over here what are the events that we need to get those working.